Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I sound a little congested. I'm trying to get over a cold, so just bear with me. I created this warm toned cat eye look for hooded eyes on my friend Valentina, and I hope you enjoy. So first we're starting off with the MAC Fix Plus, spraying a little bit on the Real Techniques buffing brush. And taking a little bit of Valentina's favorite foundation at the moment, which is Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation in the shade Buff, we're dotting this all over her skin and buffing it out. A little tip for this foundation is to use a little bit at a time and buff it out fairly quickly because this foundation tends to dry on the quicker side. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. Now this foundation is buildable, so we're going to take another little bit and dot it all over. Um, her face and then buff it into the skin once more. Now taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and we're going to apply this in a small uh, upside down triangle underneath her eyes and we're going to keep the concealer fairly light because we um, did build up the coverage in the foundation. Taking this flat kabuki style brush that I, I believe I bought on eBay and I put some of the same concealer on the back of my hand and just applying it to any acne spots or any redness she has on the skin and blending it in. Then I sprayed the same brush with some Fix Plus and started blending her under eyes. You always want to blend concealer in a patting motion just so it doesn't settle into any fine lines or anything like that and also to get a more natural finish. Taking whatever's left on the brush of concealer and applying it to the lids as a base for our eyeshadows. Now we are going to set everything with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in 011 Creamy Natural and taking the Real Techniques contour brush and patting this underneath the eyes to set it. Also setting the eyelids for a better blending base. Taking the fluffy powder brush from Equal Tools and with the same powder setting the T-zone. To fill in the brows, I'm taking the Smashbox Brow Tech Trio in the shade Blonde and taking the Equal Tools angled brush and applying this to the eyebrows. I like to start applying the most product to the center of the eyebrows and work my way out and then whatever's left on the brush, apply it to the inner parts of the brow. First thing that I'm applying to the eyebrows is the wax that comes in the Smashbox Eyebrow Trio. I like to take my time on Z brows because I like making them look fuller and beautiful and you know. Taking my favorite bronzer at the moment, which is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in 022 Sun Bronze. Taking the same fluffy powder brush from EcoTools that we used earlier and applying the bronzer in a three shape to bronze the skin. And I love this brush just because it applies the least amount of product, so it lets you build it up to the desired look you're going for. I'm also taking the bronzer down her neck. And next, we're going to chisel out those cheekbones using the Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. And we're going to use the shade Fawn and Java. I'm using a dual ended brush by the brand Spa Resource, just in case you guys were wondering. Taking the same two shades and contouring her nose a little bit with um, the smaller side of the brush. 
To start off the eyes, I'm taking the NYX Single Eyeshadow in LOL. Now taking a fluffy crease brush from the brand Expression and applying this orangey, salmon-y color to her crease as a transition color. The next eyeshadow we are taking is the NYX Single Eyeshadow in Dance the Tides. It's like a warm chocolatey brown color. And we're taking this on an angled eyeshadow brush and we're applying it to the outer V of her eyes and um, kind of shaping it into a cat eye look. For the eyelid, we are going to take a mixture of Virgin and Sidecar from the Naked Palette. Using a flat shader brush by Eco Tools and applying this color to the lid and the inner corners. Using a small definer brush and the shadow Dance the Tides again by NYX applying this as a base for our eyeliner and we're also taking this and winging it out taking the same shadow and smudging it along the lower lash line and connecting it to the wing we made on the upper lash line and then blending it out with a fluffier definer brush. Taking Virgin from the Naked Palette and defining the eyelid and also highlighting the brow bone with the same flat shader brush that we used earlier. And blending once more with the fluffy crease brush with no additional product. Going back to the eyebrows and setting them with benefits give me brow in light to medium. The next clip I forgot to film how I did her eyeliner which I used the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner in 171 Black is Black. Taking a NARS blush palette, I believe it's limited edition. Taking the baby pink shade and with the Eco Tools fluffy brush again and applying it to the apples of the cheeks. Now to make the skin glow we're taking the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette and taking champagne pop and pearl and applying it to the highest points of the cheeks, down the center of the nose and on the cupid's bow. For her lashes we use the Lancome primer and the Super Sizer Cover Girl uh, mascara and she did this step herself because girls we can be particular with her eyelashes. lippy time <laughs> now we're taking the mac lip liner in sore and we're gonna outline her lips funny thing is that we were hysterically laughing through this part of the tutorial we don't know why but we just kept laughing <laughs> anyways after i'm done lining her lips i'm going to fill them in on the sides a little bit and draw a line in the center of the lips just to make it look a little bit fuller even though she doesn't need it Last but not least, we're taking Max Matte Velvet Teddy Lipstick and applying this to the center of the lips. So this is the end of the video, loves. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my face again. Send some love my way by liking this video. Until next time, mwah!